जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद श्री कृष्ण सर्वनाम इंदु दीन बंधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांच नमो स्तुति तप्त कंचन गोरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी विश्वभानु स्तुति देवी प्रणामे हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम के नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर तुलसी राधे गुरु गण भगवान की जय जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा भाई साहब मोताजी भाई साहब हरे कृष्णा भाई साहब म्यूट पे हैं तो कल हम लोग वी स्टार्टेड रीडिंग चैप्टर नाइनटीन या अध्याय नाइनटीन ऑफ एट स्कंध या जैसा कि हम लोग जानते हैं श्रीमद भागवत में बारह स्कंध है वी आर ऑन एट स्कंध एंड नाइनटीन अध्याय कल हम लोग ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ श्लोक पढ़ रहे थे और जैसा कि हम लोग पढ़ रहे हैं लास्ट कपल ऑफ चैप्टर्स ऑल देवताज गेट्स डिफिटेड बाय बली महाराज या देवताज डिसअपियर एंड देवताज एज वी नो दे आर सन्स ऑफ सन्स आर देवताज अदिति या मदर अदिति एंड कश्यप मुनि या सो मदर अदिति देन डस तपस्या एज एडवाइज बाय कश्यप मुनि द तपस्या इज कॉल्ड पायोव्रत तपस्या सो विष्णु भगवान की तपस्या करके और उससे विष्णु भगवान खुद दर्शन देते हैं अदिति माता को और कश्यप मुनि को एंड ही टेल्स देम दैट ही विल अपियर एज वामन देव टू दैम या एंड देन हेल्प आउट इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग देवता बैक सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर रीडिंग राइट नाउ एंड आफ्टर वामन देव अपियर्स to aditi mother and kashyap muni vaman dev is then after doing all the tapasya he takes sanyas and then he reaches to where bali maharaj is where bali maharaj is big dani right to dan de rahe and then when he reaches he appreciates all the bali maharaj khandan even including hiranyakashyap and hiranyaksh right and then of course uh, as we know bali maharaj is grandson of whom prahlad maharaj प्रहलाद महाराज राइट सो प्रहलाद महाराज के ग्रैंड सन है बली महाराज एंड देन ही अप्रीशियट ऑल दैट वामन देव एंड देन बली महाराज से यू एस्क फॉर वट एवर यू डिजायर एंड वेन ही डिजायर ही इज आस्किंग फॉर थ्री स्टेट्स राइट हिज थ्री स्टेट्स इज द इज द डोनेशन ही इज आस्किंग फॉर एंड देन बली महाराज इज सेट यू आर रियली दैट्स nothing he can give a big island and things like that so then vaman dev is replying to bali maharaj so what we are reading right now is vaman dev replying to bali maharaj and we read this shlok yesterday where bali <clears throat> where vaman dev said material existence causes discontent in regard to fulfilling one's lusty desires and achieving more and more money this is the cause for the continuation of material life yeah which is full of repeated birth and death but one who is satisfied by that which is obtained by destiny is fit for liberation from this material existence right so as we are reading vanar uh, <clears throat> vamandev right who is none other than avatar of lord vishnu himself is 
replying to Bali Maharaj that three steps are sufficient for him. If anyone is wishing more than he requires, is essentially getting in continuation of material life and death. Right. So we'll continue to read uh, next slok. <clears throat> Uh, and Hare Krishna, Moda Vaisa. Uh, welcome to this. Up mute me, Asher. Oh, he said he is not able to unmute himself. Oh, acha acha acha. Okay, maybe. <clears throat> so we'll catch up later again, maybe. <clears throat> but uh, so we'll read. We'll start with Shlok twenty six. And uh, you know, the Mota Bhai Sahib is, uh, I think you are able to unmute now, right? Also, uh, but we are not able to hear you still. Yeah. But in any case, you know, Mota Bhai Sahib himself is, has read Gita and he has actually summarized Gita also. So we are really so blessed to have him join us. And you know, under his guidance, also, we'll keep moving forward. Uh, you know, it's so nice that uh, you know, he could take his time and join us, uh, <clears throat> you know. So it's really nice. And uh, so we'll continue to read Shlok 26, uh, Anilji. Yadrakshana matustasya tejo viprasya mardate tat prashamyatya santoshad dambh seva susukshanihi. A Brahmana who is satisfied with whatever is providently obtained is increasingly enlightened with his spiritual power. But the spiritual potency of a dissatisfied Brahman decreases as fire diminishes in potency when water is sprinkled upon it. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. And so Vamandev himself is saying a Brahman who is the Brahman? Yeah. Who is increasingly enlightened with the spiritual power. Right. And the Brahman is not by birth. Right. As we have read, a Brahman has the qualification of Vaishnava. Right. But as his spiritual potency decreases, right? If his materialistic tendency increases, then his spiritual potency decreases, is what Vaman Dev is telling to Bali Maharaj. Yeah? In response to his question for just taking only three steps, right? Ajay? Tasmat Trin Padanyave Padanyave Padanyev Vrinetvad Vardash Bhat Ita Vatev Siddho Hum Vittam Yavatva Prayojanam Prayojanan. Therefore, O King, from you, the best of those who give charity, I ask only three pieces of land. By such a gift, I shall be very pleased, for the way of happiness is to be fully satisfied to receive that which is absolutely needed. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So therefore, a king, and who is the king here? Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj. Bali Maharaj, right? Vamandev is telling Bali Maharaj, so Trini, Trini Pad, yeah? three pieces of land is sufficient for him. That's how he's responding to Bali Maharaj. <clears throat> uh, Prem, sir? Tishoka Vaj. Iti yukta sa hasna aha vachat prati vityam vamnai mahim datum jagra jal bhajanam. Sukhdev Goswami continued, When the Supreme Personality of Godhead had thus spoken to Bali Maharaj, Bali smiled and said, told him, All right, take whatever you like. To confirm his promise to give Vamandev the desired land, he then took upon his water pot. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And <clears throat> as we know, Sukhdev Goswami ji continued and whom Sukhdev Goswami ji is telling to, reciting this to? Srimad Bhagavatam. Sukhdev Goswami ji is reciting to whom? Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj. Right. So as we know on Ganga Tath, Sukhdev Goswami ji is reciting to Parikshit Maharaj. So he continues to tell to Parikshit Maharaj, that Vamanai, Vamandev, Bhagwan, Mahi Datum Jagraha Jal Bhajanam. So then, <clears throat> then Maharaja Bali, yeah, he <clears throat> takes up his water pot to Jal Bhajanam to make sure he can give the land, the three pieces of land to Vamandev. Yeah, 
is what we are reading. Ashiva Prabhu? Yes, Prabhuji. Vish Vish Vishnave Shamam Pradashyant Mushina Ashureshram Janan Sikershitam Vishnu Shishyam Prah Vidam Varaha Understanding Lord Vishnu's purpose, Shukracharya, the best of the learned, immediately spoke as follows to his disciple, who was about to offer everything to Lord Vavandev. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, right? And of course, Shukracharya is present there. And who is Shukracharya? So he's the guru of all the demons. <clears throat> and Bali Maharaj, he's the one who saved Bali Maharaj, right? After the uh, <clears throat> war between Devtas and Bali Maharaj. And he, of course, recognized that Vamandev is none other than Lord Vishnu himself. So then, yeah, he's telling, he has the Asur Ishwara, that's Bali Maharaj, right? And he's, he then started speaking to Vamandev, right? <clears throat> Shri Shukra Vacha Esha Vero Chane Sakshad Bhagwan Vishnu Ravya Kashyapad Di Tejato Devana Kari Sadaka Sukacharya said, O son of Virochana. This Brahmachari in the form of a dwarf is directly the imperishable Supreme Personality of Godhead Vishnu. Accepting Kashyapa Muni as his father and Aditi as his mother, he has now appeared in order to fulfill the interests of the demigods. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so Sukriya Chariji is telling to Bali Maharaj. Of course, we know Bali Maharaj's father's name is Virocham. Yeah. And of course, he's saying that Sakshat Bhagwan Vishnu Avyaya hai. Yeah? The imperishable, the supreme personality of God at Bhagwan Vishnu is who has appeared. And he has appeared to Kashyap Muni and Aditi. Yeah? That's what he's saying. And why he has appeared? Deva Nam Kari Sadhaka hai. Right? Because of Aditi's Payurat Tapasya, as we know, he appeared to get all the devtas back. That's why he has appeared. And of course, Sukriya Chariji knows everything. So that's what he's telling to Bali Maharaj. Right? <clears throat> Hare Krishna, Sachin. Hare Krishna. Prati Shrutam Tu Yayatasme Yadan Artha Majana Majana Janatam Na Sadhu Manne Daityanam Mahanu Pagato Anayan. You do not know what a dangerous position you have accepted by promising to give him land. I do not think that this promise is good for you. It will bring great harm to the demons. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so Sukriya Chariji, of course, is telling Bali Maharaj not to continue with this war. Right? Esute istan me iswarya sriyam tejo yasha shutam dashatyakshida shakraya maya manav ko hari. This person falsely appearing as a brahmachari is actually the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Hari, who has come in this form to take away all your land, wealth, beauty, power, fame, and education. After taking everything from you, he will deliver it to Indra, your enemy. Yeah? So this is what Sukriya Charya is telling Bali Maharaj, right? that he will take away your Aswarya, Shreya, Tej, Yash, Shutam, everything. And then Shakrai, Shakrai is the Indra Dev, he's the enemy of Bali Maharaj, right? Enemy of the demons. And of course, he's saying that he is none other than Hari who has appeared. <clears throat> Anilji? Rivi Kramayari Malokan Vishukaya Kramishyati Sarvasam Vishnave Dattva Mood Vartishase Katham. You have promised to give him three steps of land in charity, but when you give it, he will occupy the three worlds. You are a rascal. You do not know what a great mistake you have made. After giving everything to Lord Vishnu, 
you will have no means of livelihood. How then shall you live? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Basically, Shukracharya is telling Bali Maharaj that you will have nothing left. Yeah? Whole Vishwakai, because Bali Maharaj is currently ruling the whole universe, right? All three lokas. And he's saying, you will have nothing left. Sarvasam, Vishnave, Dattva. He will take everything away. Yeah? Ajay? Ramato ga padaikin dutien divam vibho Kamcha kain mahata tati yes kuto gati. Raman Dev will first occupy the three worlds with one step, then he will take his second step and occupy everything in the outer space, and then he will expand his universal body to occupy everything. Where will you off offer him the third step, Hare Krishna? Right, yeah. So what he's saying is, Kramatogam Pad Eken. So with the first one, he will take over the entire earth, right? And then Vitiya in a Divam Vibho have come. Like he will take over the whole universe, the outer space. And then he's asking like Kuto Gatiya, like where will you have him put his third step? Like because in two steps, he'll take over the whole universe. And where will the third step be put? Yeah. And a nice purpose. So let's read this. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Shri Prabhu. Uh, Shri Prabhu. Oh, uh, yeah. Sukracharya wanted to tell Bani Maharaj how he would be cheated by Lord Vamana. You have promised three steps, he said, but with only two steps, all your possessions will be finished. How then will you give him a place for his third step? Sukracharya did not know how the Lord protects his devotee. The devotee must risk everything in his possession for the service of the Lord, but he is always protected and never defeated. By materialistic calculation, Sukracharya thought that Bali Maharaj would, under no circumstances, be able to keep his promise to the Brahmachari, Lord Vaman Deva. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Nishthante Narake Mane Hei Apradutu Pratishutam Pratishutas Yonisha Pratipadiyatu Bhavan. You will certainly be unable to fulfill your promise, and I think that that because of this inability, your eternal residence will be in hell. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So Sukracharya is, of course. Uh, <clears throat> Discouraging Bali Maharaj from continuing the war. Um, Tarun? Natadhanam prasam masanti yena vrittir vipadyate dhanam yajnas tapa karma loke vritti mato yata. Learned scholars do not praise that charity which endangers one's own livelihood. Charity, sacrifice, austerity, and fruitive activities are possible for one who is competent to earn his livelihood property, properly. They are not possible for one who cannot maintain himself. Hare Krishna. Hare so what Sukhacharya is really telling, right, is that people who give the charity, yeah, they should think about their livelihood property, right? If you cannot maintain yourself, then you should not give the charity. What Sukhacharya is telling to Bali Maharaj. Because what he's saying is, hey, if you give those two steps, the entire world will be gone. You'll have nothing less. Is what Sukhacharya is telling, right? Sachin? Dharmaya Yashase Arthaya Kamaya Swajanaya Cha 
पंचधा विभ जिन जन्वित मी हा मूत्र च मोदते देर फॉर वन हू इज इन फुल नॉलेज ऑफ शुड एड शुड डिवाइड इज अक्यूमुलेटेड वेल्थ इन फाइव पार्ट फॉर रिलीजन फॉर रेपुटेशन फॉर अप्यूलेंस फॉर सेल्फ ग्रेटिफिकेशन एंड फॉर मेंटेनेंस ऑफ हिस्स फैमिली मेंबर सच अ पर्सन इज हैप्पी इन दिस वर्ल्ड एंड इन द नेक्स्ट हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण सो व्हाट सो क्या इज टेलिंग बली महाराज राइट नाउ इज दैट हे यू नीड टू डिवाइड अ वेल्थ इन फाइव थिंग्स धर्म यश अर्थाय कामाय स्वजनाय च राइट एंड एंड नॉट गिव अवे एवरीथिंग इज व्हाट ही इज टेलिंग ट्रुथफुल and untruthful if not right so what is basically saying is because your promise don't start with om you can actually break it because it doesn't have to be truthful is this is how sukracharya ji is telling bali maharaj right anil ji tam <clears throat> pushpa phalam vidya datma brakshasya giyate brakshe jeevati tanna syad nartam mool matmanah the vedas enjoying that the factual result of the tree of body is the good fruits and flowers derived from it but if the body tree does not exist there is no possibility of factual fruits and flowers even if the body is based on untruth there cannot be factual fruits and flowers without the help of the bodily tree hari krishna hari krishna right and who is saying this right now shukracharya Sukracharya ji, right? So he is trying to convince Bali Maharaj that hey, if the body doesn't exist, even if it's not truthful, then no fruits and flowers can come up. So that's how he is trying to convince that you really need to get away from your woe. Okay. Tad yatha vriksh unmula shush. बॉडी बिकम्स ड्राई हरे कृष्ण Hare Krishna. So what Sukriya Chari is explaining is that that the other vriksh unmula, like once you take the root, right, the tree is dries up, right. Similarly, if you don't take care of the body, and he's telling this because he's saying that Vamandev will take over everything, right. Then you will not have anything left. Uh, actually, a nice purport. So let's read this. Uh, <clears throat> शीला रूपा गोस्वामी सेज पर बुद्धिया हरि संबंधी वास्तुन मुमु कुशुभ परित्यागो वैराग्यम पालगु कथयते वन हु रिजेक्ट्स थिंग्स विदाउट नोइंग द नोइंग विदाउट नॉलेज ऑफ देयर रिलेशनशिप टू कृष्ण इज इनकम्प्लीट इन हिज रिनंसिएशन भक्ति रसामृत सिंधु वन पॉइंट टू पॉइंट सिक्स इन दॉट कंसिडर द बॉडी कंसिडर द बॉडी मटेरियल समटाइम्स द स्पिरिचुअल बॉडी ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर इज मिस अंडरस्टूड बट श्रीला रूप गोस्वामी इंस्ट्रक्ट 
परीक्ष परीक्षित बुद्धिया हरि समाधि वस्तुना the body fully engaged in Krishna's service should not be neglected as material. One who does neglect it is false in his renunciation. If the body is not properly maintained, it falls down and dries up like an uprooted tree from which flowers and fruits can no longer be obtained. The Vedas therefore enjoin Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So what is being mentioned is body is important and the body which is engaged in Krishna's service. Right? Even though we know this materialistic body is temporary, but if the body is fully engaged in Krishna's service, <clears throat> it should not be neglected as material. You need to take care of the body is what is mentioned here. Right? Uh, okay. Om Iti Satyam Neti Anartam Tad Ita Pushpam Palam Acho Yat Satyam Saheshwaro Yasavi Kalyan Kirtir Bhavita Pushpam Hi Palam Vacha Satyam Vade Vadyate Athain Mula Vacho yad artham yada yad yatha vrika vriksha avim avir mula sasyati sa udvartata evam interam vandanam avir mulam atmanam karoti sa susyati sa Udvarte Tadmat Antaram Na Vade Dayate Etena. The purpose is that activity, activities performed with the help of the body for the satisfaction of the absolute truth, Om Tat Sat, are never temporary, although performed by the temporary body. Indeed, such activities are everlasting. Therefore, the body should be properly cared for. Because the body is temporary, not permanent, one cannot ex expose the body of, to being devoured by a tiger or killed by an enemy. All precautions should be taken to protect the body. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh -huh. Ragritam. Apurnam va Aksharam yat tado miti yet kin kid om iti bruat tena richeta ve pumam vixeva sarvam om kurvan nalam kamena chatmane. The utterance of the word om signifies separation from one's monetary assets. In other words, by uttering this word, one becomes free from attachment to money because his money is taken away from him. To be without money is not very satisfactory, for in that position, one cannot fulfill one's desires. In other words, by using the word Om, one becomes poverty-stricken, especially when, when one gives charity to a poor man or beggar, one remains unfulfilled in self-realization and in sense gratification. Hare Krishna. Okay. Atta Purna Purnam Vyatmam Yacha Nitya Nutam Vacha Sarvam Nit Nitya Nutam Bruyat Sa Dushkirtihi Shwasam Brutah. Therefore, the safe course is to say no, although it is a falsehood, it protects one completely, it draws the compassion of others towards oneself, and it gives one full facility to collect money from others for oneself. Nonetheless, if one always pleads that he has nothing, he is condemned, for he is a dead body while living, or while still breathing, he should be killed. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So this is how Sukracharya is telling Bali Maharaj that the safe course is to say no. 
right rather than giving away everything is what he's telling right Istrishu Nama Viva Hecha Vithyarte Prana Sankate Go Brahmana Arte Hinsayam Na Nitam Shadu Gup Sitam In flattering a woman to bring her under control, in joking, in a marriage ceremony, in earning one's livelihood when one's life is in danger, in protecting cows and Brahminical culture, or in protecting a person from an enemy's hand, falsity is never condemned. Yeah. So what Shukrachari is telling Bali Maharaj that it's okay to say no, right? Because in those situations, it's okay. It can be, uh, it will not be condemned is what he's telling to Bali Maharaj. And thus end the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the 8th Kento, 19th chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam entitled Lord Vamandev Bags charity from Bali Maharaj. Follow Srimad Bhagavatam Ki. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. We'll have some time. So we'll continue reading next Adhyay, which is Bali Maharaj surrenders the universe. So that's what we'll continue to read. Very um, blissful reading. Yeah. <clears throat> Anilji. Sri Shuko Vacha. Balirevam Grahapati Kulacharin Vashitaha Tushnim Bhutvaksharam Rajanu Vacha Bahito Gurum Sri Sukadev Goswami said, O King Parikshit, when Bali Maharaj was thus advised by his spiritual master Sukracharya, his family priest, he remained silent for some time and then after full deliberation he replied to his spiritual master as follows. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yes, of course. Shukdev Goswami is telling this to Parikshit Maharaj continuously that what happened? Bali Revam Grihapati. Yeah. Kul Acharya. Kul Acharya is, of course, Sukracharya, right? All demons Kul Acharya is Sukracharya and his Bhashita. So after listening to the spiritual master, Sukracharya Ji, says here, Tusnim Bhutvakshram, like. Uh, Bali Maharaj remained silent for some time and then he replied to his guru as follows. So, and nice purpose. So, let's read this. Um, <clears throat> Ajay? Yeah. Shira Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur remarks that Bali Maharaj remained silent at a critical point. How could he disobey the instruction of Shukracharya, his spiritual master? It is the duty of such a sober personality as Bali Maharaj to abide by the orders of his spiritual master immediately, as his spiritual master had advised. But Bali Maharaj also considered that Shukracharya was no longer to be accepted as a spiritual master, for he had deviated from the duty of a spiritual master. According to Shastra, the duty of the Guru is to take the disciple back home, back to Godhead. If he is unable to do so and instead hinders the disciple in going back to Godhead, he should not be a Guru. Guru Nasasyat should Bhagavad Gita 5.5.18 One should not become a guru if he cannot enable his disciple to advance in Krishna consciousness. The goal of life is to become a devotee of Lord Krishna so that one may be freed from the bondage of material existence. Tektva deham punarjanam neti mam neti so arjuna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna. The few important things mentioned here, right? Like as we look for a guru or as we appoint someone guru, the guru's duty is really to take the disciples back home, back to Godhead. That's the only duty of a guru, right? And what he's saying is if that guru is not really doing that and actually hindering the disciple in going back to Godhead, he should not be a guru, is what is mentioned here. Right? 
because ultimately the goal of life is to become a devotee of Lord Krishna <clears throat> so that one may be freed from the bondage of material existence. And that's the journey in which Guru should be helping. And what is being mentioned is then the Punar Janma Neti Mamiti So Arjuna. Then they don't take a Punar Janma, is what Lord Krishna has mentioned in Bhagavad Gita. Yeah, let's continue to read. Um, okay. The spiritual master helps the disciple attain this stage by developing Krishna consciousness. Now, Sukracharya has advised Bali Maharaj to deny the promise to Vamandev. Under, under the circumstances, therefore, Bali Maharaj thought that there would be no fault if he disobeyed the order of his spiritual master. He deliberated on this point. Should he refuse to accept the advice of his spiritual master or should he independently do everything to please the Supreme Personality of Godhead? He took some time. Therefore, it is said, Tusnum Bhutva Shanam Rajan Uvach Vahito Gurum. After deliberating on this point, he decided that Lord Vishnu should be pleased in all circumstances, even at the risk of ignoring the Guru's advice to the contrary. Anyone who is supposed to be a Guru, but who goes against the principle of Vishnu Bhakti cannot be accepted as Guru. If one has to falsely accept such a Guru, one should reject him. Such a Guru is described as follows. Mahavarata Udyoga 179.25 Hare Krishna. Yeah. Kuror Apai Avaliptasya Kare Karyam Ajanata Utpata Prati Panesa Paritiago Vidhi Vyate. Sri Jiva Goswami has advised that. Such a useless guru, a family priest acting as guru, should be given up, and that the proper bona fide guru should be accepted. Sat karma nipuno vipro mantra tantra vishwaradha avish navo. Guru na said Vaishnava Swapacho Guru. A scholarly Brahmana, expert in all subjects of Vedic knowledge, is unfit to become a spiritual master without being a Vaishnava. But if a person born in a family of a lower caste is a Vaishnava, he can become a spiritual master. Padma Purana. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Now, what is important mentioned here in the Padma Purana is that even if somebody is born in a Brahmanic family and he's a scholar, he knows all the Vedic knowledge, right? But, and we see so many scholars these days, right? We'll see like so many scholars who have their own channels and everything else. But if they are not Vishnu, and what a Vaishnava means, right? Vaishnava who has surrendered to Lord Vishnu, Lord Krishna, who is doing the devotional service, who is doing the bhakti, you know, Shavanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Shmanam, Padasayanam, Archanam, Dasham, Sakyam, Atman, Yadanam, right? If he is doing that, Vaishnava, then even if he is not born a Brahman family, even if he is born in a lower caste, right? He still can become a spiritual master because that is the guru who is going to take you uh, out of this materialistic world, right? Is mentioned in Padma Purana. So, <clears throat> just one. So, Tarun. Sri Palir Vacha Satyam Bhagavata Proktam Dharmo Yam Brahme Dinam Artham Kamam Yaso Vrittim Yona Badyeta. Kar Bali Maharaj said, 
as you have already stated the principle of religion that does not hinder one's economic development sense gratification fame and means of livelihood is a real occupational duty of the householder i also think that this religious principle is correct hari krishna hari krishna and whom does bali maharaj is saying this to mm -hmm. sukracharya sukracharya ji right bali maharaj is responding to sukracharya ji who has advised him not to continue with the war let's just read this and then we'll pause sachin bali bali maharaj grave answer to shukracharya is meaningful shukracharya stressed that one's material means of livelihood and one's material reputation sense gratification and economic development must continue properly to see to this uh, is the first duty of a man who is a householder especially one who is interested in material, material affairs if a religious principle does not affect one's material condition it is to be accepted at the present time in this age of kali this idea is extremely prominent no one is prepared to accept any religious principle if it hampers material prosperity shukracharya being a person of of this material world did not know the principles of a devotee a devotee is a, is determined to serve the supreme personality of god to his full satisfaction anything that hampers such determination should certainly be rejected this is the principle of bhakti anukulyasya sankalpah pratikulyasya varjanam uh, madhya 22.100 to perform devotional service one must accept only that which is favorable and reject that which is unfavorable vali maharaj had the opportunity to contribute everything he possessed to the lotus feet of lord vamandev but shukracharya was putting forward a material argument to hamper his this process of devotional service under the circumstances bali maharaj decided that such hindrances should certainly be avoided in other words he decided immediately to reject the advice of shukracharya and go on with his duty thus he gave all all his positions to lord vamandev hari krishna hari krishna yeah. and so we'll continue to read we'll pause here right now <clears throat> this time we'll continue to read very very beautiful description and please full reading right so we'll pause the for today <clears throat> and let's hear a nice kirtan um for five minutes
ಮತೆ ಮಾಲ ಜಾಲ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರದಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರದಾರಿ ಪೀತಾಂಬರ ಜಗ ಜನಮನ ಮೋಹೆ ಪೀತಾಂಬರ ಜಗ ಜನಮನ ಮೋಹೆ ನೀಲ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರಧಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರಧಾರಿ ಅರುಣ ಚರಣ ಮಣೆ ಮಂಜಿರ ಅರುಣ ಚರಣ ಮಣೆ ಮಂಜಿರ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ ತಾಯಿ ಮಾನ ಭಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣದಾಸ ತಾಯಿ ಮಾನ ಭಾಯ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರದಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರದಾರಿ ಶಭಾನು ದುಲಾರೆ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಷಭಾನು ದುಲಾರೆ ವೃಷಭಾನು ದುಲಾರೆ ರಾಧೆ ವೃಷಭಾನು ದುಲಾರೆ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ ವರಧಾರಿ ಜಯ ರಾಧ ಗಿರಿ Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Uh, and we'll continue reading from Bali Maharaj's response tomorrow, 9.30 p.m. Uh, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.